Josh O'Reilly here with Midwest Outdoors. I am uh, heading up to Wisconsin, gonna hunt the rut. Got the next two weeks off work, so it's October 30th now. Get in the sweet November, should be in for a good hunt. Got the bow all sighted in. Got all my hunt work gear packed up and on the road, so stick with us. Hopefully we get in some action. I've been excited for this hunt for a long time. And while the season opened not that long ago, preparation for it started months ago. Setting cameras, pattern bucks, scent elimination of all my gear. But the very first step of every deer season is getting sighted in. It doesn't matter if you're using a bow, rifle, or shotgun, you absolutely need to take the time in the preseason to ensure that your sights are still accurate and to get some practice time. So for my first shot, no matter if it's just me sighting it in for the first time or like this I already know it's sighted in but I like to start off 10 yards or less I like to get my left or right I like to shoot off a stationary uh, platform like this that way there's no room for air I got my left or right and then I'll worry about my yardage so now I'm going to take a second shot just to make sure we're consistent So my first two shots, I'm happy with the side to side. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to take my range finder. I'm going to start at 20, make sure my elevation is good. And I'll bump it out to 30 and so on. All right, so now we're back at 20. I'm going to take a shot and see how we are for elevation here. All right, so that hit perfect at 20 yards. Now I'll continue on out to 30, 40, and 50. Uh, once the season gets a little closer, I'll start shooting more freehand and from an elevated position like a tree stand. Uh, I got two weeks off work for the rut this year in Wisconsin, so stick with me. I'll see you up in the tree. Hey folks, it's November 2nd. Uh, been on the last few days. Bucks are really starting to move, so set up here and uh, got this long bench I'm set up in this saddle here so over the years it's been a good spot to come through here all the time usually late morning you'll start seeing these bucks cover some ground and move through here so see what happens it should be a good hunt so this was the fourth day of my hunt gear movement has been good so my expectations were very high when I got in the stands So as this buck come in, I could tell he sent something wasn't right, but I believe my hunt work camo broke up my outline and kept this buck at ease. So I watched this buck pile up 35, 40 yards away, and I couldn't wait to get up to him and get my hands on it. Well, folks, here he is. November 2nd up here in Wisconsin. This was uh, the fourth buck I seen this morning. Had a fork horn, come in chasing five does, and then uh, had a good nine pointer. Come in and he was a little bit bigger than this guy, but I couldn't get a shot. And then uh, had a spike come in. And about 20 minutes later, this guy come in. So nice, unique, tight rack deer, but I'm happy with him. Got them all loaded up, heading back to the farm now. Uh, Plan on coming up here for two weeks, but got it done on the fourth day, November 2nd, around 10 this morning. So, 
guys to get out there. This is time to do it. They're really starting to rut hard, so I'm gonna pack up and head to Illinois and see if I can get another one on the ground. I'm Joshua Riley. Thanks for watching Midwest Outdoors.